169. This film covers the pistol conversion assembly for the standard upper group. Now the bolt, the bolt is a completely simple design. It's modeled after the Thompson submachine gun bolt, which has a large part in the back and then a small part in the front. It feeds from the Uzi magazine, which is a double roll type magazine, and it shows you have to cut a slot in the side. Now when this was made, there were no magazines. There were, actually, there weren't any Colt type uh, 9 millimeter guns in existence yet. Okay, well it's time to put that bolt in there and that bolt will just slide right in. Shows the back, there's a spring plate and then there's a hole in the back of the bolt. And you slip that right in there and line them two holes up. Actually, if this actually was a firearm, there would be a slot for the ejector that would have to be lined up when you put the bolt in. It wouldn't be any big deal because uh, the bolt wouldn't go in unless it was properly aligned anyway. But with this bolt just being a, a dummy bolt, it can just go, go right in without any, it uh, doesn't matter which way it goes in. Now I'm trying to show the insert there, the insert that's pressed into the tube. This gives the tube in the barrel and chamber area a lot of extra strength. It's not completely necessary, but it, it seems like a good idea. Each, each of these parts actually, except for the bolt face, the barrel, and, uh, and the spring, could be made of plastic or some type of uh, composite material. And uh, making it basically uh, completely throwaway or disposable. And there are other models like the Model P which is completely plastic, which not completely, but except for those parts it doesn't use the M16 type lower at all. Well, now we get back to putting in the bolt. We're going to line up those two holes again. We've got to pull the trigger in because it won't go in because the sear catches on the on that uh, back bolt part that's bigger. And then we got the spring rod. The spring, we're just going to put that spring rod through those two holes there. The one in the spring plate and the one in the back of the bolt. And a little stiff. Normally uh, You'll have that, uh, you know, real real guns are, uh, are are finely made to tolerances that are very close. This is not that sort of thing. But again, it is good enough to demonstrate the uh, the actual function of these parts. Now that nut there happens to have a nylon keeper and uh, insert in the nut and that will help to keep that from coming apart under use. And once that's in, that's it. That's all it amounts to. That back part is drawn back and uh, when the trigger is pulled it would presumably strip a cartridge from that magazine, chamber it and, and fire it. And that is the function of the open bowl design.